Je crois qu'il se fait démonter. What is good friends and welcome back. I hope you have a great Sunday so far. In this video, I will break down play by play how I try to survive a siege from S40 while I'm defending a key village. It's not because you are outnumbered that you have to give up and wait until you get blown up. You can have some fun trying to harvest some kills. So enjoy this video and have a great day. All right, let's do this. I have Uncle and Torrent Countess on my main battle tank. I'm going to try to kill as much unit as i can as you see i'm attacking this atg in aa mode i'm not taking much damage despite this howitzer firing at me i lost about two units in total destroying that atg is going to retreat i will use the same main battle tank to attack this howitzer I'm not going to stick around for too long as i'm under heavy fire let me retreat and now I'm going to prepare the second phase of the attack with my artillery. I will pre-charge on this light tank and release the officer's kill charge on that poor ATG, one shotting him clean. And I will deny him from any kill by retreating. As you will see, I am alone blocking this village, not because my friends doesn't want to help me, they cannot reach me. It's too deep inside enemy territories to uh, provide any support. So I'm on my own and in this type of situation, I really have to be careful not to lose too many troops uh, so my base can defend itself in case I get siege. De, de ressortir un peu de monde, mais j'ai un peu trop de monde. Je parie que Joey s'est fait exploser. Somebody is sending a bomber and a fighter. I will also send my bomber and bomb one artillery from Dark Soul. Of course, my goal is to destroy this howitzer, but I will need to abort the mission as those two strong fighters are here to defend. And I will pull away, avoid destruction. I cannot stand against those strong fighters, so better garrison and wait for another opportunity. While the enemy is busy destroying this bunker, I will attack this light tank and avoid any retaliation just in time and i will charge my officer's kill to cast it on any incoming enemy like this light tank boom one shotting him chefier de multiplier par zéro pauvre con I will try to harass the enemy, harvest some kills here and there, thanks to the MBT uh, new buff, which provide a shield. So this shield is quite useful to, um, like I said, harass the enemy and try to break out this um, gathering around me. So again, against this light tank, a garrison barely lost anything. So I will keep going until uh, the enemy decide to break away. Voilà, fait. I will pop out one more time as the AG is busy uh, maneuvering. So I'm going to attack this helicopter right here. Then he's going to wake up. And when he does, I garrison. As you can see, they're trying their best to help me with a small AG. I will keep <laughs> breaking the siege by attacking uh, this chronic guy. I try not to get exposed too much. As soon as the shield goes down, I garrison and wait until it resets. <laughs> One trick is to wait until the enemy retreat to attack him so he doesn't fire back at you. Remember, a unit cannot fire on the move. So once he comes back to me, I garrison. Right 
in this sequence i will charge my officer skill on this light tank i'm gonna try to stay away from uh, this base under me and now it's fully charged i will cast it on this howitzer he did a big mistake he's gonna pay the price for it C'est beau ça, je l'ai one-shoté comme un champion. I will keep harassing the enemy. Now I need to be careful as there is some howitzers on the right side of my base and I do not want to be in range or charge them. That will just help the enemy. Each time I pop out, I make sure I'm not surrounded so the shields stay in effect and prevent me from losing any HP. So somebody woke up from S40, he will approach his howitzer on top of my base, so we have the moment to charge and hopefully destroy me. I'm aware of that. I need to be extra careful at this time. Squid Squad decided to send me an angel that will activate my base and now the enemy is in panic mode. They will scramble away, avoid total destruction. Some of them got lucky, uh, but most of them died, as you can see. I'm gonna try to pick this howitzer trying to get away. I almost got it. Almost. Now that the enemy will reset, there is no protection against those howitzers, so I will use the officer's kill charge and cast it on this poor howitzer right there. I took some fire, not a huge deal. I will repeat the process with the main battle tank. I'm not gonna stick around though as those howitzers will fire at me, but thanks to this MBT buff, I didn't lose any unit. Thank God for this shield. So another friend will try to bomb those units. I will send a bomber as well. So this poor guy will uh, lose a howitzer. I hope he finds it back. So just in time to avoid those fighters. Now that the enemy gather around my base again, I will try to thin out that group. On this sequence, I will use my main battle tank to soak up the enemy fire and attack with my light tank. Let's watch the replay. I dealt some pretty good damage. Now this light tank. Ooh. There you go. As you can see, I never stay outside my base for too long. Now I'm going to use a tactic. The helicopter one, one-shotting this poor guy. <laughs> Once again, the enemy is getting distracted by those Raven troops. I will destroy this Howitzer quickly. <laughs> All you need is a good situation awareness and seize the opportunity, skill charging my light tank and casting it on this poor guy right here, barely taking any damage. There you go. Another sleepy head commander that is unaware of the danger. I will take a few shots at him, then retreat and retrain. I don't want to lose too much. I will keep my howitzer in front of my base just in case somebody tried to attack me. Hopefully he can charge them. 
and my base defense will be more effective and then I will attack this guy with another tool in my toolbox, the bomber. So since this unit is quite weak, I don't need a lot of passes to destroy this equipment fully. Second pass and I recall immediately, avoiding uh, getting damage. Now I'm going to prepare for the second round. So you have bombers, you have tank, you have howitzers. Use all those tools at your disposal and be creative. So this beautiful howitzer will need maybe only one pass. Let's see it. There you go, one pass and this guy whips out his fighter. I'm lucky enough to have a strong fighter, but I'm not going to stick around. Once again, I do small and quick attack. So he's leaving this anti-tank gun. That is a perfect target for my light tank. And this guy maybe wants a wants some love. No, he doesn't want. Now this strong light tank appear. I will use my MBT as a main weapon with the assistance of the light tank, but he's gonna pull away. At this point in the siege, now it's fair to say that you cannot try anything. You only lose unit if you try and you will help the enemy charging their howitzer. So you have to prepare, brace yourself and try to relocate as soon as you can when your base blows up. Now this infantry will start the siege. There you go. And I have very little chance to survive this siege. So just be aware and be ready to teleport away. There you go. I hope you like this video, guys. I hope that those tricks will help you increase your survivability in case of a siege. Thanks for the support and I'll catch you on the next one.